Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I broke my toe the other day, so I just wanted to do a quick video here for you, just an update on my bromeliads. So we have two bromeliads right here, three actually. This little guy came off of her. So when a bromeliad blooms, right, if I have a bromeliad in the store with a bloom out of it, this mother plant that that bromeliad bloom came out of is going to die can see she wasn't sucking up water she wasn't holding it anymore and this the water was running out right to the bottom because you can see she she dies after she pushes that baby out and after that baby gets so big from her so since she died and the baby wasn't really getting any more nutrients from her we took her off you can see that's that baby from her now when you take these apart you just want to break them apart separately and I'll show you guys how we did this with that one once she's ready, because she's pushing out three babies. We bought this one on sale with a bloom already out of it. It's like a purple type. The other one up there is like a orangey yellow type. And you can see because she pushed that bloom out, if you go back from our new plants we got, she had that bloom. And we got her because guess what? I knew she was going to be pushing babies out and that's why she was on sale. Because she had already bloomed. So you just want to make sure with bromeliads, this top stays full this water spout in here you can see that water's in there because you want to water all the way through let me get my watering can so I can show you guys the proper way to do this all right guys so I got my watering can so I can kind of show you what to do here and I got some nutrients so I can show you basically the different nutrients I use for these because bromeliads and my orchids are a little different they're kind of the same as my air plants just want to water a little bit. You don't have to worry about this base too much. This is already pretty wet. She's really pot bound, guys. I have to transplant this. See these roots? This is the pot she came in. So this is why we need to transplant. You know, when you bring your plants home, they are just temporary containers pretty much. Unless you're getting them in a huge container that they are made to stay in, you know, usually you got to transplant this little thing. Look how brute bald that is up here. That's crazy. And it has no room to move. It, it's nuts. You know, half this thing's filled with soil. And she's just sitting on top with them roots exposed. So they're not getting really enough water. Now, roots on bromeliads and stuff like that really don't need to be wet, wet, wet. They need to get moist and not stay too wet because it can cause rot. This up here is the most important thing. Now, when you water, you know, this. if this water is sitting in here more than about four days, you should go ahead, take your plant outside, and just go flush this plant out. Just want to flush that water out, just like that. Because if this water is sitting in here too long, it can cause rot to your plant to start to happen. See that? See that water spurting out on the bottom, which we're going to have to... Yep, we just made a mess. I knew that was going to happen. It happens all the time when I'm shooting. But what are you going to do? So we're just going to plop her back in there since we're going to transplant her butt anyway. And that's the importance of transplanting and making sure your plants aren't top heavy. She is way too top heavy and that's why that's happening. So we'll excuse that mess over there and just go to the feeding. So for feeding, I like to use in the soil, if I'm using soil feeding, for that stuff watering the roots I use my miracle grow all-purpose fertilizer and I just water the roots so I use that at half the strength so instead of a full tablespoon I'll go quarter tablespoon give it a little water and I know that's good to go now if I'm spraying the foliage for bromeliads I go with my dynagrow here we went over the foliage spraying with the quarter teaspoon of dynagrow and the um you know the uh what do you call it the tablespoon of Epsom salt in there. And that's what I do for bromeliads. And I'll show you once we transplant her, that little baby, how to take them babies off. And you just wanna spray your plants down, bromeliads and orchids. See this orchid, she's flowering. She's gonna need lots of nutrients. Now since this nutrients, this Dynagrow, is for foliage and for root feeding, I'm gonna spray the whole thing down, roots, foliage, and everything. But, you know, orchids like a nice high fertilizer. And this Dynagrow is only a 795. So we're going to have to treat the soil here, put, put the miracle Grow up, mix the miracle Grow solution at a half a tablespoon per gallon of water and just spray the soil in a different sprayer. You can also do that for your, your um, other 
bromeliads or any kind of orchid you have, just spray the soil with the miracle Grow nutrients because that is 26,816. It's higher in that nitrogen and that potassium that these plants really need to bloom. So make sure you're giving them the right nutrients the right way and you guys should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something great here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.